Hey guys, it's Ashley Banks. Welcome to my channel. And right now we're about to get into five things to remember when planning for your BBL. Number one, please make sure to bring all methods of payment with you. Whatever you use to make your payments, for your surgery is along the way, make sure you're bringing all of those cards and all of those receipts as well as your driver's license and your ID. Super important. Number two, prepare for a new wardrobe. You're going to have a completely different body, so you're going to have to remember that your your hips and your butt are probably a lot wider or more projected than they were before, so prepare to have to spend money on an entirely new wardrobe. And also know that you're gonna have to figure out your new size it's not going to just be as easy as sizing up one or two you have completely new measurements so you're going to have a lot of trial and error make sure you're scheduling your aftercare massages beforehand make sure you schedule some wherever your located surgery is or wherever your surgery is located and then also you're making sure that you're Signing up for massages locally as well, because it's extremely important for you to get those lymphatic massages to get that uh, fluid out of your body and to get the swelling down as well. Number four, because doctors recommend you not sitting on your butt between six and eight weeks, it's really good to get you a protective hairstyle or a hairstyle that's going to last where you won't be walking around like looking crazy while you're waiting on your six month mark. So for myself, I had box braids. It was super convenient. I don't have to worry about sitting down for anything for the first six weeks. Number five, make sure you're staying away from alcohol. Alcohol before surgery can lower your hemo, which can cause complications or can cause you to not be eligible for your surgery if your hemo is too low because most doctors only deal with people who have a hemo of at least 11.5. And then you wanna avoid alcohol after the fact because it will put you in swell hell. Even though you'll be snatched in the midsection, everywhere else will be super puffy and swollen from your face, your neck, your arms, your ankles. Like, it's not fun. And you definitely want to avoid alcohol, like at least that first three to four months. If you are going to have alcohol, you just can't resist or you have an occasion, please, please, please make sure that you're in your faja and make sure that you're drinking at least a gallon of water so that you can flush everything out. Trust me. You will thank me later. But that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all when I see y'all.